Rioters came within 40 feet of former Vice President Mike Pence when they stormed the Capitol on January 6th. The House committee investigating that day says the mob was egged on by former President Donald Trump and some of them would have killed the Vice President if given the chance. Skylar Henry is on Capitol Hill with more. The House committee investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol laid out the pressure campaign former President Trump put on his vice president to overturn the 2020 election. Mike Pence said no. He resisted the pressure. He knew it was illegal. He knew it was wrong. In a phone call that morning, Mr. Trump repeatedly berated Mike Pence. The conversation was was pretty heated. Ivanka Trump told an aide about the vulgar language used. Remember what she said? Her father called him the P word. Pressure also came from Trump lawyer John Eastman, who asked Those Pence to delay certification of the vote even after rioters stormed the Capitol. He was still pushing us to do uh, what uh, he had been asking us to do for the previous two days, that that was certifiably crazy. Eastman invoked his Fifth Amendment right 146 times when testifying before the committee. But Pence's lawyer says Eastman knew his plan lacked legal standing. And he said, absolutely. Al Gore did not have a basis to do it in 2000. Kamala Harris shouldn't be able to do it in 2024. But I think you should do it today. Conservative Judge Michael Ludig, an outside advisor to Pence, warned Mr. Trump is ready to try it again in 2024. Donald Trump and his allies and supporters are a clear and present danger. The committee is now hoping to interview Ginny Thomas, wife of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. She exchanged emails with Eastman in the days leading up to January 6th. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill.